Welcome back, survivors. I'm Survivalvis, and we return to Inscription. Last episode, we kind of figured out a lot, well, came across some of the darker secrets of Leshy's Cabin in that. We succeeded on another run, got into uh, the back room where he's always been taking the picture of us, but we were able to get the roll of camera fill and actually trapped him into one of his own cards. And what was hiding behind the locked door in the cabin was actually this. New game. So we moved officially from Act 2 in, or from Act 1 now towards Act 2. And I admit this is where things get a little more blurry for me. I don't remember as much about Inscription from when I've watched other people cover it. I think it's because the first act is just so immersive and really sucks you in that the rest of it you kind of might slip a little bit away from. But we're ready to begin Act 2. Just line that up as close as we can and slot it in. And this is where things change up quite a bit, and I think this is, like, meant to be Inscription's purest form, in a way. It's also the one that I think has the most strategy involved for, like, the gameplay aspect of it. We just gotta wait and see. Oh, there we go. Wiping unexpected data. Creating new save file, purging deck data, purging collection data. Oh, there's a bit of... In the beginning, the world did not know cards. That is, until the day the scribes arrived. Each had their own method of inscription to create cards. Grimora used her quill to inscribe the epitaphs of the dead. Leshy used his wildlife camera to capture beasts, which we kind of know from first act everything there. P03 used a particle scanner to copy the CPUs of robots. And Magnificus used his brush to paint his wizard pupils. With the cards created, the scribes had solidified their power. Until one day, a challenger arrived to replace one of the scribes. Choose a starting deck to mark your ambition. Yeah, so this is where things have turned on their head a fair bit. So we've got... I'm trying to remember. Your ambition is to replace Grimoire and become the Scribe of the Dead. No. Your ambition is to replace Leshy and become the Scribe of the Beast. That's probably the deck I'm going to pick, but we'll just go through. Because you do have, like, these archetypes that you get to pick one to, like, begin with. Your ambition is to replace P03 and become the Scribe of Technology. And the last option. Your ambition is to replace Magnificus and become the Scribe of Magics. We'll leave that. I'm going to go for the Beast deck because, well, with more my survival game background and that, I just lean towards Beast. So yeah, we're going to take that deck. The cards were added to your collection. Yeah, and now, I think if we follow the path... Yeah. What is this? <laughs> okay, so we got Broken Bridge over here. Oof, I was just about to call it quits out here. But now that there's a challenger in our midst, it's back to work for me. I should be able to get this bridge fixed in... Full disclosure, it'll take me exactly as long as it takes you to defeat one of the scribes. So, uh, come back later. Okay, so we can't go that way. Ah, uh, we only got a couple of routes to go, and up here is looking pretty familiar, so we'll start with... Oh, actually... Yeah, we'll start with here. Yeah, a few familiar things around here already. So... Oh! You pried, out the che you pried the chest open and found a card pack inside. You received a beastly card pack. So we got the elk, the mole man, the field mice... Stim Mage, which is a new one. Activate 
Okay, Stim Mage, activate. Pay three energy to increase the power and health of Stim Mage by one. And the Banshee, two bones. We'll strike an opponent directly even if there's a creature poaching. Cards were added to your collection. I think if I do escape... Oh yeah, I gotta bring it over here. So we can completely make up our deck with all the cards we've got. So we've got... Oh! That's a different looking stoat than we've had before. We've had... Okay, Hawk's a new card as well. So that's two blood, attacks for three, only one health on it. Um, actually, we'll take Stim Mage out, because I don't think I have anything that would work with that. So we'll probably... Yeah, do that for now. And let's see. Dang, Nabbit! That dang hound got herself lost. Again! Think you're getting past? Think again. Not till I get some proof my girl's alright. So there's the prospector we've seen before, and then you can probably recognize this big guy over here. No. No fish, no pass. And two. Oh, 273. Is that the. Is that the same combo that. No. Stop shaking. The only thing you have to fear is your own inadequacy. Behold me, I am Leshy, the scribe of beasts. I would consider your ambition to replace me a threat if it weren't so laughable. We share a desire for you to challenge me. But first... Ooh. I know what you're thinking. Do you? No, this is not my legendary camera. Not the one I use to create beast cards. This one is a mere replica. You may use it to create photos of the beasts in these woods. My subordinates, the prospector, the angler, and the trapper, they each require a photo before they will consider battling you. Return to me when they are all defeated. Okay, and it looks like, just like the cabin before, there might be a little bit to interact with here. Oh, well, we saw what the combo was here, 273 outside. You take a stinking pile of meat from the safe. Oh, is there something else? There's faint odor where the meat once was. Okay. Um. Oh, and then we can solve, we have this puzzle we can try dealing with again as well. So if I remember right... Okay, so let's break down. We need to do five damage to the other side of the board. There's two, three, four... That should be... Oh, hang on, that... Okay, but I don't think it has the, uh... The flying defense to it, so I don't know how that'd play out. Hmm. Let me just try a ring like this and see. Okay, that was only three out of five. And what if I try this? There we go, five of five. The drawer creaked open and you found a pack inside. You received a beastly card pack. Ooh, so we got the hawk again, the mantis god, which was a pretty good one to have in our previous run of the first act, the mole, uh, the Banshee and the Automaton, though that has a cost of something we haven't seen before. Cards were added to your collection. Oh, we got another card pack. And this one had the Automaton and the Leapbot, a block imposing creature bearing the Airborne Sigil. Okay, we'll take all that. And looks like that's it for there. I don't see anything in the dark to work around with. Nothing there. If I go into Alter Deck... Oh, actually... Oh, maybe you only need 20 cards as a minimum, so you can go over that. You know, I'm going to put a lot of those in... Although, maybe I should... Maybe I'll take one back, just 25 out of 20, and we'll see how that works, because... 
Again, I have to see how the battles do work. If they are exactly like they were, or they're a little bit different. And you are... Who? Oh, the trader. You wish to trade? You don't, perchance, have any pelts. No? That's disappointing. But I also accept foils. Ah, okay. So if we wanted to buy anything, we could. And that's actually interesting, because in the first act, if I were to pause the game, it was this foil symbol that represented the, like, uh amount of teeth we were collecting for some of the fights. Okay, well, looking around here... Okay, so we got a picture of the Prospector's dog, so we can hand that into him. And that'll probably be our first fight. Well, I'll be darned. That's my girl. I'll let ye pass me, and into yonder pond. But... Dagnabbit. First, we got a battle. It's actually interesting. He, it looks like they have a representative. Okay, wasn't expecting this. You froze in fear as the words of the great scribe of beasts entered your skull uninvited. Fear not. I only wish to explain to you the deck that you selected. In order to play my cards, sacrifices must be made. The scribe assessed your reaction, noting that you did not seem surprised by this information. Perhaps you need no lesson, but remember that almost anything can be sacrificed. It may bleed oil, or even marrow, but if it bleeds, well, you know what to do. Yeah, that's interesting. So you know what, maybe what I'll do is I'll get the two squirrels, sacrifice them, and get the elk out here, and then it just will slowly rotate down along the way each turn. And the board's similar, but also a bit different. We've got our deck counter, I think, is right here, because we'd have 21 left. We've got information on the card selected to the right. This is exact, well, close. No, it is exactly like it was in the first act. It was four slots, but we've got... Looks like batteries, a few symbols, and that's probably the blood there, I think. So yeah, we'll hit the little timer. Elk moves to a new space. And not much else we can do, so we just let it play out. Moves to a new space. Okay, I've got the warren, but I need more I can sacrifice. Oh, excuse me. I think all I can really do here is end the turn again. Moved over. Okay. When Warren is played, Ravs create in your hand. Ravs defined as zero power, one health. I kind of feel like I want to let the attack happen to that. That might move over. And then I can see what I can do, yeah, with that. Oh, perfect. Okay, Squirrel, you go down there. Okay, sacrifice the Squirrel, play the Warren there. I'm trying to think here. Because I can probably end this right now before the next thing comes down. Because I could sacrifice these two, get the Hawk out right here to hit for three plus the two. Or do I want to get Mantis God out to hit for 1-1? One, one. Uh, you know what, I think I want to just get the Hawk out and finish this. So we'll do that there. I think end turn, and that should bring us the victory. Yeah, and we do have foils come in as excess damage, so that's do that is how we gain them. Fair's fair, you beat me like a dog. Take this. Some say these here cards are better in gold. Oh, another beastly card pack. So, oh, we got some new ones. Okay, we got the Ura Yuli, which was... Uh, we saw it in our run of the first one, but we didn't really have a good way again the four blood for it. And we got the Salmon, 
Waterborne. Also at the start of the owner's turn, Sam will move in direction described on the sigil, as well as the walkers. When the walkers dies, four bones are warded instead of one, and the Skelemagus. After attacking, it perishes. Also, if the owner controls no mox cards, that perishes as well. Cards are added to collection. Um, oh, can we talk to him? The way to yonder pond is clear. Okay, yeah, so that seems to be about it there. Nope, I guess that's a picture for the angler, perhaps. Nope. Uh, place a photo of bait on the line. Oh, okay, we can do that. Oh, that's a different picture than I was expecting, but... But nothing else we can do with it, so that's probably for the angler. So let's head back and see about that. But be honest... I really do love the immersion of the first act, but this second one, I love how there's so much more strategy and thinking that you can have, with a lot of variety to the cards, too. Fish. Fresh fish. Good. Still. Must beat. Yeah, so now we're up against the angler. Oh, actually, this might be interesting, because I can do... Get that out. Now let me play that. Now let me play that. And I think it's... Yeah, it's one plate it's created. Maybe what I'll do is end the turn there for now. I won't get the hawk out just yet. Let me see what my next draw is. Yeah, so I'm moved to a new space, goes underwater. Uh, see, I'm going to have to get a lot more squirrels than that, I think. I definitely got to build out the deck a bit more. Like, I could get these two... Yeah, I'm going to get those two down, get the hawk out, and then at least we're starting to, like, work the scales a little in our favor. Even as the Sam does come and hit for two. So it'll probably just be a bit of a slow back and forth like this for a little while. And, okay. Yeah, Field Mice will constantly give itself back, but the two blood is hard to offset, though. This actually might be our win here. Yeah, it is. No foils, though. You beat. You pass. First, take. Nope, oh, more card packs. We need those. Although, truthfully, it's not looking like a lot of good sacrifice stuff. Like, Salmon we got again, the Mole Man, the Raven, the Insectodrone. No striking opponent directly because of the airborne skeleton. They're attacking, it perishes. Oh. Me? Work continue. Find fish for Leshy. Okay, there's also supposed to be one other person to find the trapper, it was. There was also, yeah, this little side thing here. Oh. Oh, the salmon. Car was added to collection. Okay, and we got. You picked the clover from the stem. Oh! Ooh! Okay, there's nothing I can do here right now. I did see the little tentacle pop up that remind me of, like, the uh, mirror card we came across. Is there anything if I go back again? Doesn't look like it, so. Uh, we can keep working here. I should look at altering the deck. Because I gotta get more sacrifice stuff in there. Like the seven squirrels are good to have. I don't need that many warrens. Uh, truth be told, I think I want to... Yeah, like maybe add the skeleton. Maybe the banshee. Uh, yeah, it might not just hurt to get some of these in. Just because... They're going to be able to be played out without needing something sacrificed in their place, I think. And... I'm getting another Mole Man. Field Mice, I think, are going to be too expensive for what they give. Yeah, let's take the Uru Yuli. We didn't take him last time, so we'll see how that works. And then... I don't know if these will actually be the same person or not. 
Still no pelts? Okay, so I could buy individual cards, which might not be bad to get. Uh, the squirrel ball might be nice, but I think I'd rather take the... Yeah, give me the two squirrels to start us off. Just so that way I can try to... Have plenty for our deck. Okay, there's that, but... Return me when my subordinates are defeated. Um, oh, I can walk right... That's what I messed up. I can just walk right by him. Unless you want good fish. Fresh fish. Corrupted fish. Corrupted fish? Oh. Okay, I think I know. Right, I remember this part. I wonder, if I go over here, will he pop out of... Yeah, because the... The Trader or Trapper is looking for pelts, I think. Oh, actually, I didn't even realize there's a chest up here. Patches of dried blood crackled as you pry the chest open, but two packs were inside. A beastly card pack. Oh, that's handy. The cat's a good one we want to add for sure. We've got another Mantis God. Elk. Okay, we've seen those. And what do we got in here? Another Mantis God, the Bloodhound, Banshee, and Steel Mice. When Steel Mice is played, a copy is created in your hand. Okay. Now I got to try and see about getting the rabbit, I think, in one of the traps. Oh, or just maybe taking. Okay, or just taking the picture of the pelt to bring back. Yeah, you know what? We'll bring this back, probably have a fight with the Trapper, and then end this first episode before we'll fight uh, Leshy in a battle. Also, do want to just alter deck again. Alright, I don't think I need three Hawks, because they are pretty expensive. I will hold on to the Uriuli. Trying... Alright, Cat I wanted to add... Um, duh, duh, duh. Is there anything else I want? Alright, maybe another one of those. Yeah, just because those might be easy sacrifices. One more Mantis God, and maybe just another Salmon or something. Ah, we'll go for the Bloodhound. Even that out a bit. Okay. Let's see how this goes. I'm probably bloating my deck, and I should be more conservative about what I throw into it, but... Trial and error. You have brought a pelt. I am pleased. Yet another turn of the skinning knife. It is time to set another trap. Oh, God. Yeah, so they do snap their neck. I smell the hare's blood on you. Okay, trapper. Oh, they do... Oh, burrowing trap is a new one. Oh, and if I want... Oh, that's handy. Okay. Yeah, you know what? What I think we'll do is get Mantis God... Out right here. And maybe we'll just end the turn there, because that's going to be three damage out. These guys will slide down. There's a little hit there, but that's no problem. Traps. Yeah, so do, do, do. Okay, I can get another Mantis God out, so I think I will. And that'll probably kill off Burrowing Trap. And then those two as well. So let's see how this goes. I... Snap shut. Yes, yeah, so that took care of that. But at least we kind of cleared the board and brought it to even. Unfortunately, we did lose one of our... Ooh, yeah, we might be in a bad spot here. I need something I can... Oh, I need something I can bring out. Ah, shoot. I've got too much that's... Yeah, I gotta get rid of some of the sacrifice cards. I'm done here. Okay, having all the blood cards come closer. You'll make a fine pelt. Okay, so nothing seems to happen if we do lose, but... A good lesson that you have to mind what's in your deck. I've got way too much that is, like, these high blood. Although, oddly enough... 
It seems like we didn't actually see any of these come through here. Everything was just like this little grouping. So I don't know. Well, the adders are pretty weak for like what you get for them, so I'll toss them back. I might hold on to the rest, because aside from those, everything else has a little bit more utility than that. Now, this is definitely where you want to limit how much you put into your deck to maximize your potential out of it. But for now, we're going to leave this episode of Inscription right here with our start of the second act. There's going to be a lot more battles to come up ahead, and it's going to take a little while to get through Act 2. Act 3, I think, goes a little bit more to the speed of the first one, but we'll see in time. For now, we've got a lot to enjoy here, so thank you all very much for joining me on this episode of Inscription. If you did like the video, be sure to give it a like, and if you have any comments, tips, or tricks, be sure to leave them in the comments right down below. And until I do see you all in the next video, survivors, please remember, as always, to take care and stay alive. Thank you.